Greetings from Omai Clinic. Thank you for watching our YouTube postings on eye disorders. In this episode, I like to take you across the details of squint. We all understand squint is that where the two eyes don't work in synchronization. So one eye looks straight, where the other eye could look inward or the eye could look outward. So we have different names for this depending on whether the eye looks inward or outward. Inward looking eye is a squint known as esotropia or the outward looking eye squint is called the exotropia. The most, there are several reasons for the squint to occur. The most common one it just occurs by nature in childhood. Rarely squint is present in birth, that's extremely rare, so it can occur. Most squints that occur in childhood start around the age of two or three and they manifest around that age and they could sometimes increase. Once the squint is seen, what should the parent do? The child should be examined immediately by an ophthalmologist to find out what is the cause of the squint. Cause of the squint can be multiple. The most common cause for the squint would be an imbalance in the muscles that move the eye. This occurs developmentally and that is treated differently. A small percentage of squints are caused due to refractive errors or glass powers. If there is glass power in the young child or the infant and that is causing the squint, correcting the glass power will completely cure the squint at one go. So it's very important first to test, find out the cause of the squint and then treat it appropriately. Squint can be permanent in one eye. All the time, one eye looks straight, the other eye looks either in or out. Most often, it is alternate. Sometimes the right eye looks straight while the left eye is in or out, or alternatively, the left eye looks straight and the right eye is squinting. This is a very, very common part of squint. This is known as alternate squint. Squints that are constant need to be addressed immediately because when one eye is squinting constantly, that means the brain is only using the eye that is looking straight forward. The eye that is turning out or turning in is not used by the brain. And vision, just like hearing or language, is a learned process. Language, unless a child can hear, the child cannot learn to speak a language. So any child that is born deaf is also dumb. The same process actually applies to the eye too. If an eye is not used by the brain, at infancy or in the age group between 2 and 5 or 6, the brain may never learn to use the eye at all. This is known as lazy eye or amblyopia. So squint is one cause of lazy eye or amblyopia. So if you don't treat the squint appropriately at the early age, the brain may never learn how to use the eye and the eye may become lazy or amblyopic throughout lifetime. Treatment of squint as I told you can be multiple. Certain squints can be corrected just by giving appropriate glasses. Certain squints will be partly corrected by giving exercises. These exercises could be closing one eye, which we call as occlusion therapy, where we close the eye that is looking straight and make the brain use the eye that is squinting. So once the brain learns to use the eye that keeps on squinting, then we treat it appropriately. If the squint persists after all these treatments, most of these squints will need surgical correction. When does one do surgical correction is a common question that parents ask. If the vision in both eyes is equal and the squint is present, well the treatment, surgical treatment if necessary can be postponed by a few months or years. But if the vision in the two eyes is unequal and there is squint, that is you have some kind of amblyopia or suppression, then the surgery should be done immediately to recover vision in the squinting eye. We now look at the other causes of squint. In adults, squint can occur due to paralysis of the nerve supplying the muscles that move the eye. So this can occur in people who are in their 40s, 50s and 60s, second due to diabetes or hypertension. Rarely, squint can also occur due to stroke in the brain. In this condition, the treatment is entirely different. Most often, diabetic squint, which occurs in some persons with uncontrolled diabetes where the nerve stops functioning, usually recovers function in about a month or two with appropriate medical treatment. They very rarely need surgery. Squints occurring due to brain stroke also have a tendency to get better on their own over a period of time and recover. Squint can also occur in adults after any trauma, a fracture around the eye or the, eye or the orbit 
or around the eye where the bones are present. When these bones can fracture, there's a possibility. Appropriate treatment can also address that. So the treatment of squint will depend upon whether it is a squint in child or an adult. In children, very often we have to resort to surgery. But before surgery is done, the child may need appropriate vision therapy where the squinting eye is treated, that the brain learns how to use it, and appropriate surgery is done. Another question that's normally asked is, does the surgery work very well? Squint surgeries are highly successful and give very, very good results, both functionally and also aesthetically. If you have any questions on this uh, topic of squint, uh, feel free to please leave your comments in the YouTube after seeing it and we'll get back to you with the appropriate answers.